Hello everyone, welcome to Elite with Desfocus.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry Lau and today is Thursday, March 7, 2019. The time is around 3.45 a.m. GMT. So here we are looking at the chart of the DAX. Um, it's a 60 minutes or 45 minutes chart here, short term uh, structure of the of the tax, uh, we can see that the rally that starts from 10.865 on February the 9th, that rally looks to be impulsive. We got one, two, three, four, and then five, a very nice subdivision of five waves, and you can see with one subdivided nicely into five waves with three also uh, subdivided into a five waves and now uh, we are in the process of correcting this rally right so <coughs> this blue box this one is a potential support in which <coughs> if we can go there uh, we can see some sort of support f either for the index to go to new high or at least uh, to bounce in three waves at least now this support here is based on the idea that we have a three swings pullback, right? Ending this W here and then we have the correction. Then we are looking for another three swings pullback. So it's going to be a WXY uh, structure or double zigzag. Okay. And this is the next potential area in which uh, the Y is going to be equal to the W. <coughs> and then uh, <coughs> it's going to be in the extreme area where we can find support now of course uh, the most important level is not really the blue box the most important level is this 10865 uh, which is the invalidation level and as far as the DAX technically stays above this one it can still extend higher okay so now let's take a look at a couple of uh, uh, alternates okay a couple of alternates here now we can uh, reach this air now if it rallies higher here then that means we are not going to do this that's for sure and that should be okay because we are not saying it is bearish uh, we are saying it can do another leg lower potentially reaching this uh, before the next leg higher if it rallies from here that shouldn't really change the idea that uh, the right direction remains to be to the upside at least in this time frame okay not really going lower now uh, so of, of course uh, a possibility is going higher but looking at the uh, overall indices uh, it does look as if we're gonna see more pullback uh, in the coming days now another possibility will be that we end these three swings here we bounce but fail to go to new high and then do another double correction again so in other words we do another seven swing or another WXY but a larger degree WXY so uh, you can think of it you can move the W here X here and the Y here another seven swing but it's a larger degree seven swing ending the P here now that can happen now if that happens that remains to be the next support area another blue box here if that happens okay and then before the index resumes the rally higher so as long as this level is holding there is uh, the the direction or the the main the right side still remains to be favoring for more upside uh, in the tax and now why is that why is the direction right now still favoring for further upside if we step back and look at the larger time frame if we look at this uh, for our chart of the tax Again, we don't have a complete count. Uh, if you want to see all the counts in different time frames, you can always check inside the member area. We have a 14 days free trial for new clients and uh, the link is provided in the description. Now, here is the four hour chart. If you look at it from December 28 low 2018, <coughs> we can see this has a clear connector somewhere in the middle, right? So we got a rally, which is one cycle and then this connector this pullback is absolutely uh, for sure is another another cycle that has nothing to do with this move up so you got one cycle two cycle one swing 
and then two swings then after that you have a new high above the previous swing right so you have a three swings or a three cycles here and uh, this third swing has not reached the ideal equality or the hundred percent right so for that reason we have a chance as long as as long as the DAX continues to stay within this channel so in other words it stays above this February in the 9th uh, which is uh, the one hour invalidation level this is February in the 9th then 865 right so as long as we stay above here uh, it still has a chance to go higher again to reach the equality target here now this pullback of course like I said can be doing a complex correction <coughs> you can do a larger degree three waves like this for example retest the uh, lower end of the channel before higher again that is a, that is a possibility but that doesn't make it into a sell so far unless unless this pivot give up unless this channel this channel breaks then yes you will then <coughs> switch to another view but for now uh, we kind of need to keep pushing it on the upside <coughs> in this case and then you can see that's why we have a bullish sequence stem uh, right side higher stem here on our charts to help our members to identify what is the right side and what you should not do now uh, so that is from the text so <coughs> another alternate is going to be a flat a flat here so we got a three waves B three waves and then uh, in this kind of scenario we are not going to stop at the blue box because then you will expect a C leg as a five waves so this could be a one a two right and then you have a, a big move in with three this is also very possible by the way it is also very possible uh, we can have a flat because this B is a deep retracement of the A so then this blue box is irrelevant if this is a flat uh, then we can extend uh, a flat we don't like to trade flats uh, if it is a flat in in the company because you don't really have any good um, uh, way to manage your risk so to speak unless you put it you know your stop here which is way below which is not going to be a good price to reward in that case but we can do something like this as well right a p one two three four five like this or maybe it can go to like a 50 percent retracement right it can go maybe even somewhere here uh, for this with see if it is doing a flat something like this before ending this entire correction and then starts uh, higher again right so this is also another <coughs> possibility of a flat so I think instead of focusing on this small box here right because again like I said it can be a flat instead of focusing on these boxes here uh, the more important thing to focus on is this for our structure here that as long as we are within this ascending channel as long as we are uh, this pivot which is this then it's 65 remains holding then uh, regardless whatever the type of the correction may be in the shorter cycle as long as we stay with uh, within the channel we can extend higher again to 11.959 now if if the channel breaks for any reason so in other words the tax really sell off and then starts to break and close below the channel then at the at that time we have uh, we have a major change right we will we will be changing if that happens that means we will not have continuation higher and then that means that this cycle from December low has ended if we break below the channel then we have to maybe adjust the count I mean we can adjust it easily I mean for example we can say this is a width one right so you call this into with five width up from here <coughs> you make a count 
to count as a five ways oh, so either this is with a here or with a here right and then uh, this move lower looks like an impulse here so that's why I said a here with a flat in between so you get a P and then you got a truncated C which is possible right so you have one two three four five and then in this case you end this cycle and either we go to new low like this or we do a bigger pullback in three ways to correct this entire rally so that is the alternate all right now if we look at the <coughs> US indices right now which is uh, <coughs> looking slightly different now here is the Russell here this is the Russell in the four hour chart now you can see that the current sell off of the current pullback in the Russell it looks like just looking with you know um, at the chart the structure of the chart this cycle and this cycle has nothing to do with, it, with each other right it has nothing to do with each other that means that the same cycle from December low in the US indices especially in the Russell looks to be completed already while the structure in the DAX is different it this is stronger uh, comparatively speaking and this structure in the DAX still can be I mean we can still consider it as still in progress from December December low but in the case of the Russell here it is different uh, I cannot say that this is some sort of one, two, three, four, and this is with four because this looks completely different cycle. So the U.S. indices seems to be saying the, the a different thing. It, they could be different cycle. I mean, they do not have to be trading exactly in the same way. They can always, uh, you know, the ratio analysis can always be changing uh, at one period favoring US indices another period favoring uh, you know the tax for example uh, but in the US indices case it does look like uh, at least in the case of the Russell that the cycle that starts from December low has ended but in the case of the tax as long as we stay within the channel I think we can still keep pushing it on the upside but if it does break below the channel and close below it then at that time we uh, we need to change the view if that happens that this cycle can be completed as well and if this cycle completes we have two choices either we do a bigger trace pullback in the tax and go higher or or it can go to a new low if it breaks below the channel now until that happens we have to keep pushing it one more leg higher until it reaches the 100% extension so I hope that um, you enjoy this video and again uh, we always do this type of analysis and also uh, sending some setups uh, in the live trading room and the live session uh, every single day uh, when we scan the market so feel free uh, to check our service uh, the trial link again is provided in the description and see you all again uh, tomorrow